Hi there. Today, I'm going to talk about data lineage. Data lineage is an important aspect of data governance. Data lineage allows users to visualize how a data is flowing into different assets in their organization. Data lineage allows you to be compliant with any regulations associated with your industry and your region or location of your enterprise. It gives the end users the confidence that they're using the correct assets which were generated properly using correct transformations and correct source data so that they can use those assets confidently in the reporting tools or in the downstream data science tools. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use data lineage using Watson Knowledge Catalog. Watson Knowledge Catalog also has an extensible APIs which can be used to extend data lineage capabilities to other tools in your enterprise. So let's have a look at Watson Knowledge Catalog and data lineage capabilities in Watson Knowledge Catalog. Once you are inside Watson Knowledge Catalog, you can search for information assets. Think of information asset as a technical asset, such as a table name or a report. You can select the technical asset for which you want to run a lineage. Once I'm in this table and once I select the data lineage option, I can get an end-to-end -end data lineage right from the source till the reporting tool or any downstream applications that you're using in your enterprise. In this instance, I've started with this mortgage customer table and you can see that it's been loaded using an extract transfer and load process using IBM's data stage tool, uh, which references a flat file mortgage customer it's then referenced by another data state job, which loads into a customer table, which is referenced by Power BI queries, which are used in a Power BI report called customer underscore analysis. You can see that lineage is not just tied to IBM tools. You have lineage which goes across different tools such as Power BI, uh, SQL Server, and so on. But not just that, you can also document the lineage inside any other ETL tools which are not from IBM. So in this instance, you can see there is a process inside Apache NiFi, which is referencing mortgage customer table, and it loads into a tab another table called customer underscore demographics. So the lineage, the data lineage is very much extendable. It can extend and go across your organization. It's not limited to IBM products and it's very easy to extend your lineage across your organization. So how do you import metadata and lineage from Power BI or reporting tools such as Power BI? And how do you extend lineage to other third-party tools uh, which are doing any extract, transform and load processes in your organization? So let's start with importing metadata and lineage from Power BI. To do that, you will go into metadata import and we provide connectors to variety of different sources that you will find in a typical organization, such as Irwin for data modeling, Power BI for reporting, Tabulo for reporting, and so on. So you can import metadata from those systems and even lineage associated with that metadata. In this, I, in this import area, I can create a new import area. Like you can see the different bridges of connectors that we have across a variety of different sources. And what I used for Power BI was the Microsoft Power BI report server. So you can select the connector or bridge that you want to use to import the metadata. Uh, fill in the uh, credentials to connect to it and then import the metadata and the lineage associated 
uh, with that particular reporting tool. You can see here that I've imported different assets from Power BI such as reports, folders, queries and so on and you can see those uh, reports and queries inside uh, this particular BI server uh, as well as any tables associated with those reports uh, inside uh, this particular section in, 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 in the staging area. So once you have imported these reports you can then start searching for those reports and even get lineage for those reports associated uh, with any ETL process. So you can get an end-to-end -end lineage uh, for that particular report. Another thing that I wanted to show you is how easy it is to extend this particular lineage to other tools and processes that you have in your organization, such as you might be having your own ETL process or you might be using another ETL tool to do extract, transfer and load or scripts or any other streaming uh, tools uh, for doing any processing. So you can easily extend the lineage to those tools by creating those assets inside Watson Knowledge Catalog using the bundles. And by creating these uh, assets, customized assets, you can literally create any asset that you have in your organization. So you can post a bundle, which is registering a new asset. Uh, and this is all documented on our Knowledge Center. Uh, you create a XML files, you create uh, what is your uh, bitmaps for each of the assets that you want to register, uh, import that uh, particular asset, register it, and then once the asset is registered and imported, you can also create a lineage flows using XML files uh, to create an end-to-end -end lineage. So the Apache NiFi lineage that you see, that you have seen in the last few steps is created using the APIs that you can see here on this page. So it's really very easy to extend the lineage, uh, import the metadata from different tools such as Power BI and generate an end-to-end -end lineage. I hope you have found this uh, video useful. Do uh, provide your comments uh, on this video. And until next time, please be safe and take care.